Hey, what's going on people? Jamie here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to learn German using your iPhone. So let me demonstrate what you'll be able to do by the end of this video. So you're making your, you're making your phone read German out loud to you. Then we'll be pausing it. We'll be highlighting interesting words like zurück, right? We'll, we'll highlight it. We'll look it up. And because you're going to have your uh, German English dictionary downloaded, then you'll be able to tap on it and get a ton of, of context. For any word, pretty much, there's going to be more context than a German in the room could share with you. And then screenshot it for later. So that's my German learning workflow that I use primarily with my iPhone. And now I'm going to teach you how to do it, everybody. So there are a couple steps just to get it set up. So let's just get that out of the way. So you're going to start, let's just start with a dictionary. So in your settings, search dictionary and make sure that you have the German English one installed. Now that we have that out of the way, you're going to go, you're going to go back to your settings and hit the search and say spoken content. Tap that. And you want to make sure that speak screen is turned on. That is of the most importance, okay? One, because the iPhone out of the box doesn't have speak screen turned on. And what that does, it's so freaking cool. You, you swipe down with two fingers and it starts reading to you. Well, I guess I'll demonstrate that again. And um, now you're going to scroll down to voices. And under German... You want to make sure that you have a high quality voice. So I do Siri female. You can do Siri male, but you really want to have a high quality voice downloaded already. I know it takes like half a gigabyte, but that way you can have a pretty good robotic voice reading to you. So hopefully you have the space. So, so once you have those settings out of the way, now we can open up a German book. In this case, I happen to be using, um, I'm reading right now, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets of Deutsch. But if you're looking for just like a free sample to just to test this out, um, by the way, if you have like PDFs or EPUB uh, German books, wherever you get your books from, you can open them in iBooks. But let's just say you're in a rush right now. You don't have time for that. So you can just find something um, in the Apple bookstore, whatever they call it. And here's a good series like Die Drei. It's kind of like teenager, young adult books. Picture like goosebumps, but in German. And there's like endless supply. So if, you, if you're at the reading level where you can read Die Drei, you're going to have a good time. So you can just open up a sample, whatever. And let me demonstrate again how you do that, uh, that swipe. So two fingers at the top of the screen. Oh, man. Sometimes it bugs out. It's like... Speak screen is one of my favorite features, man, but oh, you're seeing the ugly side right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes there are bugs, people. Let's open back up Harry Potter and see if it'll work. Speak screen, blew it in a demo. I'm annoyed, people. I'm annoyed because, like, I guess, I don't know, maybe force quitting Apple. I can trim this out. I can trim this out. I totally forgot about that. All right, everybody. So I closed out the app and I restarted it. And let's see. Let's see if it works. So we'll open up our deed dry thing. Blah, blah, blah. Nun yeah, here we go. Sicherheit wurde hier offenbar groß geschrieben. So I guess I should demonstrate one more time the swipe gesture. This will change your life. And I should clarify, um, you can use the swipe for text-to-speech. You can use that anywhere. You can use it for English. You can use it in your browser. You can read, have it read the news to you. So even if you're not learning German, I hope that makes your life better. It sure does. And there's this little controller right here. It's really easy to forget about. But it's just so cool because you can pause and resume the playback. You can adjust the speed if you like. It's really, really cool. So I'm happy to share that with you. So whatever, we'll play. Allerdings beherbergte das Sportutil. Allerdings, what is that word? Allerdings. So let's look that up. So you just highlight it, look up, and yeah, man, look at all this context. Look at all this context. I'm telling you. 
the context is key. And then I screenshot it for later. So that way I can, you know, look it up while I'm just on the train when I have no signal. It's a good time to just like reflect on the German that you learned through reading and hearing it from the computer. If you found that useful, give it a smash a like, smash a whatever, like subscribe so you can stay in the loop when I do more videos about learning German. And also I have some videos where I explain the German trains in five minutes and eventually I'm gonna go into loving detail for every line. So if you find that interesting, you know what to do. So I wanna get out of here and I think you should do, go download a book, make, make your iPhone read it to you, and let me know if you can get it to work. And aside from that, have a great rest of your day. Get out of here.